Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Miss Lauren Riley. Um, the title of this one is somewhat juicy and I hope that you will agree it is big news. It certainly is for me. Um, and my big news is, it's probably the first time I've said it out loud, but my big news is I am going to run the London Marathon in 2016. So that's this year in a little over three months. Now, um, should I be a marathon runner, either naturally or in anything that I've done, potentially not the biggest news, but let me assure you, I might be into my fitness, but I am absolutely not a long distance runner. This is going to be a huge challenge for me, both physically and personally, um, but I'm really glad to have you guys along with me. Please, please support the journey. And let's start by telling you why I've chosen to do this. So, why have I chosen to do it? Number one reason, I'm running the London Marathon for charity. Uh, the details will be in the bottom of the video uh, as to how you can support the charity by donating. But I'm running for Women's Aid. Now, Women's Aid is obviously a charity that does some, some really fantastic work for victims of domestic violence. Um, there are personal and professional reasons why I chose Women's Aid to run for. Um, the personal reasons are the subject of a whole other blog and I'll hope to share that with you a little bit later along my journey. But professionally speaking, so my background is as a family lawyer, so I've represented the victims of domestic violence, um, both men and women, uh, previously in, as a lawyer. And I also think as a charity, it's... Um, potentially underrepresented when you look at the public space. So if you think of a children's charity or an animal charity, then they got a lot of the attention of the media, whereas um, victims of uh, domestic violence, both physical and mental that can be. Um, obviously it's a taboo subject um, and it's not, it's not talked about as much as potentially it should be to raise awareness, to raise money for fantastic causes like Women's Aid and the work that they're doing to protect really, really vulnerable individuals, both adults and children. So obviously it's for charity. So that's one reason. Uh, reason number two, it's, um, it's going to be a huge challenge for me. Anybody that knows anything about me, both personally or if you follow me on social media, you will know that fitness is a big part of my life anyway. To give you a little bit of a clue about the sorts of fitness that I do at the moment, have a look at this. Okay, so that's the type of stuff that I usually do. So it's usually indoors, it's usually gym based, and it's like high intensity exercise in short bursts. So it's sprints of things. So I'm quite, I'm quite a fast runner actually in very short distances, but I've never done anything that required the physical endurance of running 26 miles over 42 kilometers. That's absolutely huge. It scares me. If I run, which I sometimes do, I like to run before work or during my lunch hour if I'm working from home, but saying that, when I say that, I'm, and it's it's not that frequent, particularly towards the end of last year because I just got so sucked up into the business I wasn't doing any fitness. It's If I was to say that I can run for two or three minutes at a time without stopping, that is no exaggeration. Absolutely no exaggeration. So how I'm going to run 26 miles, Perhaps you could tell me, because I don't know right now. I'm obviously going to follow one of the training schedules, but I'm doing it to challenge myself. It's been on my bucket list since my uncle did it when I was probably about 12. Um, I never got to watch him, but I was thinking, wow, that's a huge achievement. I would like to do that one day. And um, this is my one day, so it's an opportunity. And then the third reason that I'm doing this, and you might be able to guess this if you watched my last vlog, which was about... Uh, new year, new me, and my resolutions is balance. So, admittedly, in 2015, I didn't get the balance right. Hard work is hugely important for a startup business, and I will, I will, and do continue to work really hard. But last year, I kind of fried myself out, particularly towards the end. I was working always six, sometimes seven days a week. Hours were just 
it wasn't healthy basically i lost the balance and something like training towards a really specific goal like the marathon will keep me on track 100 percent. there's no decision whether i can or can't leave the office i have to do that training on specific days in order to be able to be physically safe and look after my own well-being come the end of april so i'm doing it to make sure to force myself into that balance if you like um, and I'm already at this really early stage. So I've been on three marathon training sessions and the first of which was a 30 minute walk. I was great at that by the way, I absolutely smashed it. But seriously, so I'm really, really early in my journey. I will be sharing the entire thing. Um, that's the highs and the things I do well and also the lows because I think it's important to share balance when somebody is um, it's being watched by other people. It's not always rosy in anybody's world. So I'll be sharing it on social media. I'll be Instagramming pictures of me out running, sweating, hopefully enjoying it somewhere along the journey, but I'll certainly be tweeting about it. Um, like I said, the details of why the real reason why I'm doing this for the charity and how you can donate on our Just Giving page are down below. So please, please, click on that, donate, but also follow my journey, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. I will be vlogging about it, um, but obviously it's quite hard to, to carry the camera and run at the same time, so it will mostly be shared on social media. But thank you for listening to this. Um, thank you for getting behind me. It really does mean a great deal. My last vlog, I got loads and loads of love because I think I, I guess I was more honest than people expected me to be. Um, lots of founders and startup business owners um, probably only share the how difficult the journey is when they, they've made it, I suppose. Um, and that's kind of not my style. I like to be honest and open with you guys. I'm really glad that you've appreciated that. So, yeah, that's my big news. I am going to run over 26 miles in just over three months time. So, very, very quickly, what else has been going on in my world? The New Year, New Me vlog that I did last time has actually done me okay. So I went out with the girls last night, but I didn't drink. So I stuck to Jaya January last night and yeah, it was okay. I still had a good night, I still danced, I had fun, but I felt really smug this morning. It has been the smuggest Sunday I have ever had. Um, I've been out on a run, I've uh, been quite productive, a little bit of work which I shouldn't have done but generally I've definitely uh, improved the balance in my life. I've been taking days off, I've been still working really really hard but getting physical exercise and all those things that I talked to you about last time. Not perfect but I'm getting there which is the important thing. Um, this week I've even branched out into, um, I've done a fashion blog so anybody that reads my blog or wants to read my blog, go over to laurenriley.co.uk and you can read my latest blog. And actually I'm wearing, I happen to be wearing one of the outfits that formed part of that blog. It's um, a black utility dress, which is perfect for um, just general day to day wear. It's one of the staples of my wardrobe now. It's from Jane Norman. But head over and read that blog and have a great week, guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing, supporting. Share this blog and I'll keep you informed as to how I get on step by step. Bye bye.